As much as I have tried to cover it up, and as hard as I have tried to keep it a secret, many sharp-eyed viewers may have already figured out that I have run out of new radios to review. So this video will be the first in a series of short videos that I will be uploading over the next few weeks, showcasing and revisiting some of my favorite radios. Allow me to clarify and hopefully prevent any stupid comments resulting from any potential confuculation. This does not necessarily mean that these radios that I will be revisiting are the best radios that you could possibly ever purchase. Nay, these are the radios that I like or that I continue to recommend because of the reasons of which I shall elaborate on in the video. And because I have already done a full review of the radio in the past, for all intensive purposes, these new videos will be more like a six-month update. And in this video, in the nutshells, I am going to tell you why the Boofwang UV 5G Plus is still a great low-cost handheld GMRS walkie-talkie radio that I continue to recommend to anyone that is new to the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS. Allow me to begin at the start. The Boofwang UV 5G Plus is a GMRS radio. This means that our overlords at the FCCs want you to purchase a permission slip, often referred to as a GMRS license, before you can transmit from this radio. However, no permission slip is required to purchase, own, possess, or just listen to this radio. And as mentioned only a moment ago, this is a GMRS radio. This means that by design and per the FCC's rules, it will not transmit while in VFO or direct entry mode, and the radio is locked to transmit only on the GMRS channels. I only remind everyone of this because many of the complaints that I have seen about this radio are whining about things that the radio is not intended to do and by design will not do. When I first reviewed this radio a few months ago, the Boofwang UV5G Plus was available for purchase only in a pack of two radios. Us radio experts refer to this as a two-pac, which means the two-pac costed twice as many monies. But let not your heart be troubled, and fear not, for verily I say unto you that you may now purchase this radio one at a time for half the price of the Tupac. And as of today, that price is about $35 of monies. Affiliate link below. And allow me to be very clear and hopefully prevent any stupid comments from idiots declaring that I am just a shill for the Japanese radio manufacturers. The Bufwang Corporation of Japan did not send me this radio for free, and I have received nothing in return from the Bufwang Corporation or from anyone else for making this video. In fact, I paid full price for this radio using the monies that I collected from my supporting channel members. Those are the viewers that enjoy and appreciate me and my videos so much that they clicked on the join or thanks button below in an act of kindness to demonstrate their appreciation. Now, in my 26 years as a YouTube superstar, I have reviewed pretty much every radio that big GMRS has to offer. I have also used many other radios of all flavors, FRS, MERS, CB, HAM, LMR, and even transistor radios. I have used radios that cost $20, and I have used radios that cost $5,000. And as of today, at this very moment in time, when someone new and just getting started in the exciting and dynamic world of GMRS radios asks me, what is a good, inexpensive radio to start with? This is the radio that I have been recommending since I first got mine a few months ago. The $35 Boofwang UV 5G Plus. affiliate link below. 
So allow me to explain a few of the reasons why the UV 5G Plus, manufactured by the Bufuang Corporation of Japan, is my new favorite radio to recommend. First of all, as I alluded to only moments ago, this radio costs about $35 of monies. Affiliate link below. As a reminder, and as previously mentioned, when I first reviewed this radio a few months ago, you could only purchase this radio in a Tupac, which costed twice as many monies. But now that you can get this radio for only about $35 of monies, it is an even better value. Affiliate link below. So allow me to now very quickly recapitulate a few of the features of the Bufwang UV 5G Plus in no Pacific order. The Bufwang UV 5G Plus handheld walkie-talkie radio features the USB-C's charging hole. No fire hazard charging cradle is required. Just grab one of the USB-C's cables you have in that one drawer, stick one end into the USB-C's hole on the radio, and stick the other end into a USB-C charger. You cannot remove the battery and then plug the USB-C's wire directly into the radio and use it without the battery, as many viewers have asked, because the USB-C's hole is on the battery itself. There is no USB-C's hole on the radio. However, the radio does work whilst the battery is charging. And the battery itself is fairly large at 2,500 milliamp hours, which is bigger than most, but not as big as some. And as long as I'm talking about size, the entire radio is bigger in every way when compared to its predecessor, the UV-5R, also manufactured by the Bufwang Corporation of Japan. This larger size also means that the UV 5G Plus has bigger and easier to push buttons and a larger, easier to read color screen. A color screen that does fairly well in bright sunlight and even better than many of the much more expensive radios. And the radio comes with this very cool looking antenna, not the lame looking stiff antenna that many other radios come with. The box says that this radio outputs 5 watts, and when I tested both of mine, I have two of them because I purchased the Tupac, I get around 7.5 watts when transmitting on the GMRS channel 16. This radio has just as many FARs as pretty much every other handheld GMRS walkie-talkie radio that I have ever used or tested. I am able to hit my two favorite repeaters, one at 35 miles and the other at 69 miles away, and I am able to talk with my friend Conrad, the chef, at his house, direct radio to radio, with no repeater, and he is 13 miles away. However, I would be remiss in my duties as a YouTube's superstar if I did not point out that because my very spacious and luxurious abode is located upon a golden hilltop overlooking the slums below, I have very good line of sight. Line of sight. To my friend Conrad, the chef's house, located in the slums below, what I am saying is, your fars will vary. And my favorite feature of this radio has always been and continues to be to this very day, the radio's ability to do frequency scanning, or as the Bufwang Corporation of Japan calls it, seamless frequency copy. But before I demonstrate this feature, allow me to take a moment to clarify what this feature is so that the idiots do not leave more comments incorrectly informing us that every radio can do this. Because the simple fact of the matter is, most radios cannot do this. Seamless frequency copy, as the Bufwang Corporation of Japan calls it, is much, much different from the tone scanning features that many radios can have, irregardless of what those idiots in the comment section will try to tell us. Allow me to demonstrate. And to help illustrate my demonstration, let us take a moment to use our imagination. Relax and use your mind's eye to go to a happy place a place that makes you feel secure 
and completely relaxed. Imagine going to a place that makes you feel happy and warm inside. A place that makes you feel totally relaxed. As if your entire body is floating on the clouds. And each cool, gentle breeze that you feel against your skin slowly takes away more and more of your worries. Until you are left feeling completely content and completely relaxed. Your special place could be in the middle of the vast, empty desert, miles from the big city. Or maybe your special place is a snowy mountain resort with cold, crisp, clean air. Or perhaps your special place is a beautiful deserted beach where you can feel the warm sand between your toes with every step that you take. Now imagine that on your very special day, in your very special place, the most perfect place in the world, imagine that you have a friend that shows up and fucks it all up because your friend has some kind of cheap-ass piece of shit radio that does not show what frequencies it's transmitting on or has some kind of stupid built-in tones or does something else stupid preventing your radio from talking with his radio. God damn it! But you being much smarter than your stupid imaginary friend who, if we're being honest, you don't even really know why you spend any time with at all, you complain about him all the time, and yet you keep inviting him to go places with you. You, in despite of your poor friend-making abilities, you have brought your Boofwang UV5G Plus radio. But your stupid imaginary friend that you seem to hate more and more with every passing moment, your friend showed up with some kind of lame Walmart bubble pack radio that he paid more monies for than you paid for your Boofwang UV5G+. And because of your friend's incredibly irritating stupidity and because of his stupid fucking radio, you do not know what frequency his stupid radio is transmitting on or what stupid privacy tones his stupid radio is using, making it impossible for you to chit-chat with your friend over the radio during your imaginary adventure in what was, up until this moment, your very special happy place, which you may now be thinking might actually be a good thing because you are beginning to realize that you hate him more and more with every passing moment and with every irritating breath that he takes. At any rate, this is where, in your imaginary scenario, that you become the hero. That is, at least a hero in the eyes of your stupid friend that you now wish was more unalive every time you look at his stupid face and his stupid haircut. You simply hold the piece of junk radio within about 10 feet of your very heroic UV 5G Plus radio. You press the green button to enable frequency scan copy mode or whatever it's called. And you tell your stupid friend to push the push to talk button on his stupid piece of junk radio. And like magic, you now not only know what frequency his stupid piece of junk Chinese radio is transmitting on, but you also know what tones that stupid piece of garbage is transmitting, allowing you to spend the rest of your perfect imaginary adventure chatting with someone that you now wish was never fucking born. And best of all, your imaginary friend is now very, very impressed. And now he wants to know when he can come and hang out with you again. Fuck. When I first reviewed the Boofwang Corporation UV 5G Plus radio a few months ago, the radio was not Chirp compatible. But oh, how the turntables. Because now you can use Chirp to program your Boofwang Corporation UV 5G Plus radio. However, to use the Chirp, you must lie to your computer and select the Boofwang GM5RH model from the list. And pro tip for everyone downloading Chirp to their computer for the first time, do not click on the advertisements on the website and then go around leaving comments everywhere complaining that they are trying to trick you into buying something. Instead, read the words on the screen before you start blindly clicking on things. Dumbass. Now, as much as I like this radio, I should also warn you that it is not all butterflies and rainbows in the Baofeng land. And this radio is not perfect. After all, this radio costs only $35 of monies. This radio is not 
a super heterodyne radio. Indeed, it is an SOC or system on a chip radio, also known as a homodyne. Homodyne radio, and this is why it costs only $35 of money. And although the radio does seem at least fairly rugged, the radio is not waterproof, meaning that you should not play with it in the bathtub. And unlike other more expensive color screened radios, the screen and colors are not customizable. And while this radio, like all radios, does have a Roger beep, it has no side tone. This means that whilst everyone else can enjoy the smooth melodies of your Roger beep at the end of every transmission, you will not be able to hear it. 